sorry. We both are. Oh, then why has this happened for the second time in a week? I didn't have a choice, right? I had to go. You had to sneak out to the party. Yeah, I know. It doesn't sound good, but... But what? Hey. What's going on? Oh, I just caught Rick sneaking back in from a party I said he couldn't go to. What? You've got to be kidding. It was my fault, too. I covered for him. Didn't we just go through this a couple of days ago? Guys, we want to be able to trust you, but you keep breaking the rules. We are so, so sorry. Well, you can't just keep saying that and doing what you want. Yeah. You're both grounded. No, please. So what about the Magic Dirt concert? Oh, I don't care. We gave you a chance. You blew it, OK? This time you'll learn your lesson. Believe This early in the morning. Rehearsal well, start in three weeks, Mum. I can't be rusty. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wondered when you were going to appear. Yeah, well, here I am. Oh, well, you better hurry or you'll be late. And I see you haven't lost the attitude. What attitude? The attitude that made you lock yourself in your bedroom all night. Oh, this isn't going to be a regular occurrence. Me too. Young people are so unpredictable these days. Just when I thought Jessie was on the straight and narrow, Oh, I agree. It's a tragedy, isn't it? Well, I take it she's not talking about the tragedy of a cold shower. What's the water in that again? Oh, how'd you guess? Ever since she moved in. She? Oh, that phone hog in there. <laughs> Dan! Oh, seriously, does she have to talk to Madge every morning? <laughs> oh, that Jessie. Oh, I've just been talking to Madge Wilkins. Yeah, we heard. Yeah, well, apparently he hasn't paid his rent in weeks, and when the landlord went round to collect, he made a terrible fuss. What sort of fuss? Oh, Madge couldn't see all that well from her doorway, of course, but before she knew it, fists were flying and Jesse was told to pack his bags and get out. He's homeless now. Oh, well, let's hope he shocked some sense into him. Oh, you don't mean that. Why not? We've tried to help him. Everyone has, and he's, you know, he's acted like an ungrateful idiot. Ah, oh, that's putting it lightly. There's nothing we can do. He really has hit rock bottom this time, hasn't he? Yeah, this afternoon just have to pick up some paperwork. You're becoming as much of a workaholic as I am. <gasps> Get me out of here, please. <laughs> Maybe we should give the tickets to someone else since we can't go. Oh, don't remind me. Yeah, I could kill her for making us miss this. She's not making us. If I hadn't snuck out to help her, none of this would have happened. Hey. Hey, yourself. Well, aren't you going to apologise for being such a jerk last night? What? Manny, I was looking out for you. I didn't ask you to. Look, that party would have been full on. It wasn't safe for you to go alone. Well, then you guys should have come with me. Craig only wants you there for one thing. So what? So thanks to you, me and Cass get to miss the best concert of our lives. What's he talking about? We're grounded. Sal caught Rick coming home. Well, don't get angry at me. I didn't ask you to play Guardian Angel. Oh, and so you know, for next time I can look after myself. Hey. Hey, how you going? Good. I even managed to read some of this last night. How are you liking it? Uh, it's better than I thought it was going to be, actually. It's kind of surreal. Yeah, I was hoping you guys would get into it. Tom Stoppard is a genius. All those layers of meaning. Yeah, it just feels like there's so much I'm missing. Oh, well, we could go through it sometime, if you like. Yeah, that'd be good, actually. I've got a free period now. No, I'm running late for a meeting with Mr Hyatt, actually. Right, OK. But, so, you're welcome to stay here and read. We can go over it later. Cool. OK. Bye. 
Craig. Yes, I know. It's just about to bring it to you. No, my head's not here today. Happy reading. Thanks. <laughs> Is that perfume? Yes, it is. I found it at the hall. It must have fallen out of some girl's locker or something like that. Hey, do you have lost property around here? Yeah, Miss Clark's office. Cool. Well, I'll stop in there on my way home. I'm telling you, there's something really weird going on with that guy. Mate, there's a lot of weird things going on with that guy. I just saw a bottle of perfume fall out of his bag. Probably a present for his new girlfriend. New girlfriend? Uh, yeah, we figured out that he likes someone else, that's all. But it's better if Maddie doesn't know. Henry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you guys later. See ya. Sorry I didn't make it to the party last night. Oh, it's cool. It's probably a good thing anyway. How come? Oh, just started to get nuts when the cops came. They both think Craig's brother would dope. Are you serious? Yeah, Craig had to do a runner too. Is that why he wasn't at school today? Yeah. We managed to save most of the grog, try to take two of the party on the beach tonight. If you're keen. Maybe. Who else will be there? Heaps of people. It's because it's going to go off. Is that a promise? I'll make sure you have a good time. I'll be there then. Jesse's living on the streets now. Oh, I don't know if it's that bad. You spoke to him a couple of days ago, didn't you? Yeah, he didn't give much away. I haven't seen him since. Well, you know what they say. He's made his bed. Now he has to lie under it or under a bridge. That's where you find those hobos, isn't it? Well, either way, it's not like we all haven't tried to help him. I should get back to work. Yeah, I should get to the oh, gym. OK. Okay. OK. See you, sweetheart. See ya. Be good for mummy. Oh. <laughs> you really that worried about him? Who? Hey. It's okay, you guys have history. I don't expect you to stop caring, but... Oh, Dan, I just hate the thought that he's out there all alone. He's got no one. Well, there is a reason for that. I know. And I meant what I said about not chasing after him anymore. He has to take responsibility for his own actions. But? But nothing. You're right. From now on, Jesse's on his own. Full on this morning. He ruined my night. Then you should blame me too. I wanted him to help you. I would have been fine. No, you wouldn't. Trust me. Guys like Craig, they're trouble. You should stay away from them. You can do so much better than those losers. You reckon? I know. Play for a bit. At least till Rick gets back. Sorry, couldn't help myself. I'm really looking forward to seeing you tonight. What's tonight? Uh, nothing. I just, um, I said I'd help him with his homework. As if that guy can even spell homework. Okay, he's having another party. You're not seriously gonna go. But you just said they're losers. No, actually, you just said they're losers. 